Hello basketball coaches and basketball players. My name is Alan from Al's Basketball Training and today I am going to show you some drive and dish basketball plays. So hello everyone, my name is Alan from Al's Basketball Training. If you're new to this channel, on this channel I show you basketball plays, drills, and skills. So if you like that stuff, hit the like button and subscribe. But anyways, today I am going to show you some driving dish basketball plays. So let's get down to the clipboard and let's check these basketball plays out. So in this first basketball play, we're going to have four players out and one player in. This is going to be a four out, one in basketball play. And basically what we're going to have here is player five is going to set a screen for player one. When that happens, well obviously player three could have the ball as well, and it would be the same thing on that side. However, if it's on this side, player five is going to set the screen. And then player two and player four are going to be popping down to these low corners. That way when player one drives to the rim, he can do a hammer pass out to player four or he can pass out to player three, or out to player two, I mean. If he was to pass out to player four, player four could take that three-point shot. He could also swing the ball around to player three, and then player three could have the option for a three-point shot, or player three could swing over to player five for a three-point shot. This is an in-and-out play, which does really well against a zone defense. So let's check this out against a 2-3 zone. So here we have a 2-3 zone defense, and player 2 will be play playing up top. We're going to have player 3 out to the wing, player 5 up top, and that's roughly how the zone defense would look. We're going to have player 5 set a screen for player 1, who's going to be using that screen. We're going to have these players up top at first, and they're going to be sliding down. The reason for sliding down is because now we're going to have player 3 and 5 collapse on player 1. Player 1 could now pass it out to player 2 for the 3 point shot and if he does, player 5 will then pop out and this could be a secondary swing if player 2 gets covered right away. If however, player 1 continues through and passes it out to player 4, that's going to bring the defense scrambling over. And that's going to be another nice swing over to player 3 for a possible 3 point shot as well. Or player 3, when he sees player 2 looking this way, could do a back cut down the middle of the key. And he could get that pass as well. Now in this second basketball play, what we're going to have is 3 players on the opposite side of the court. We're going to have 2 players on this side. Now I want player 4 to be your best shooter, so usually that's player 2 because player two is a shooting guard, at least in my schemes. And what we're going to be having is player one driving to the rim. He's gonna go ISO, he's gonna go one-on-one -on -one against his man. He's going to collapse that zone defense or man-to-man -man defense in. And at that time, we could have player five popping down, player three popping down, player two popping down, and player four going up to the point where one of these four players could be open. Now let's check this out against a zone defense and let's see how this works. So here's the zone defense. Player one is here trying to cut off that pass. Player two is playing one-on-one -on -one against player one. And we have player two out in the wing, player three out in the wing, and player four up top, and player five in the post. Player one is gonna try and beat player two off the dribble when he does. This will be collapsing the defense in at which point these wing players will be popping down and player four will be popping up to the point. At this time, player five is going to be cutting down, trying to find that opening, especially if five is red, that center player really pops out to play defense. This whole lane is going to be open for player five cutting down. And we're also going to be having a wide open wing, player two blue, open as well. Player 2 blue could also have the option for cutting baseline for the layup as well depending on how high player 4 and player 5 red are playing against player 1 blue. Now in this third play as a coach I am a gigantic fan of the triangle zone offense and 
This is no exception. This is a very good basketball play. So what we are going to have is player one passing the ball over to player two. Player one is then going to pop out to the wing, and player two is going to pass the ball to player one. At this time, we're going to be having player five set a back screen on player two, and player one is going to go one-on-one -on -one along the baseline against his man. At this time, we're going to have player two cutting down using that back screen, cutting down the middle of the key, and we're going to be having player three popping down to this low corner for a hammer pass. And player four is going to be going up to the point for one for defense if there's a turnover. But for two, he may be a swing option as well. Now let's check this out against a zone defense and see how this runs. So we're going to have player one pass over to player two, which will bring player three red up. Player one is then going to cut down to this low post. That's going to bring these players over just like this. And now player two is going to pass over to player one. Now player one is our point guard. Player three is usually a small forward. Player one has the speed against player three. At this time, we're going to bring player five up. And we're going to have player two. He's going to be cutting back to or using that back screen, player 3 is going to be trying to beat his man along the baseline, which will now bring player 5 over. Check out that middle of the key. If player 4 comes over as well to guard player 2, let's say player 2 is unable to get that ball, look who is wide open. We have player 3 wide open for the 3. If he gets covered in time, this would be a second option, a swing pass to player 4 at the point, for the three-point shot as well. Now in our final play I'm going to show you is a five-out drive and dish. Now the reason for this is a player one is going to try and beat his man off the dribble unless it's a 2-3 zone then he would be getting double teamed there in which case he would pass the player two or player four and they would take their man one-on-one. -on -one. This opens up multiple opportunities against a zone defense and even a man-to-man -man defense as player two can pass out to the wings and then they can swing the ball around until they get an open shot. Let's check this out against a man-to-man -man as well as a 2-3 zone and we can see how this play really works. So against a man-to-man -man defense, these guys are one pass away, these guys are two passes away and player one is playing right up top. So player one is going to let's say take the ball one on one which will collapse the help defense down in which case we have the wings wide open which will if they cannot shoot but they they have a good enough opportunity to shoot which means that these players will start scrambling out to them that now leaves a really good shooter open for a three-point shot as well now let's check this out against the two three zone and see how this works Having the ball up to the point, this is going to bring that lower portion of the zone up higher. And we're going to have player one pass to player two, which will now let him drive. This will collapse the defense in on him. And he'll be able to pass the ball out to player five for the three-point shot. Or he could have passed the ball out to player four if player four is playing a little bit lower at which case would bring player four right out for a three-point shot there, or he could cut back door there. There's multiple opportunities. It's just basically spreading the court open. When you can spread the court open against a zone defense and you start passing the ball around with some cuts going towards the key, that will open up multiple three-point shot opportunities or even backdoor cuts like player three had there. Anyways, I hope that these basketball plays help your basketball team. If they do, leave a comment below. Let us know how they helped your team. And if you have any suggestions for basketball plays, leave the comments down there as well because I will make videos for you. Anyways, I hope that you have enjoyed today's video. If you did, like and subscribe. I post these videos every single day, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, let's join a conversation. Leave a comment below and sometimes you can get entered into funny conversations like this one about my haircut. Basketball players or basketball coaches that have players who are looking to get recruited, I can help you get recruited. First of all, you need a highlight tape and I can help you with that in the link in the description below. Just look for the highlight tape link. Hello, so if you have liked this video, click over here to subscribe 
or maybe over here, depending on which side I put it on. I don't know yet. Anyways, uh, also, the opposite direction or the opposite side is another video you may like. So I hope to see you again in one of those next videos. Yeah.